Hello, Bob from Shocker Hitch. Are you tired of getting beat up when you tow your trailer? Every time you hit a bump, you feel it in your neck and your back. Jerk, jerk, jerk. It's beating up you, it's beating up your equipment. Just a tough ride. You don't need that. We can cycle that energy into an airbag. Nice smooth ride. Not only that, when you get a Shocker Hitch, now you get a shift lock coupler. Fast and easy installation. No more getting your hand in the dirt and the grease. It's pretty dang slick. So it's got a little lock pin. You slide in and out. And a shifter. Right now we've got an open gate. You can pull your trailer off. Now it's locked. Put your pin back in. That's it. I don't know how it could get much simpler than that. Today we're going to do an installation of our surge hitch on a PJ flatbed. I'll go through the steps one by one. So let's start with figuring out what height you need for your trailer. So here we are, we've got 12 inches. So we're gonna to try to match that as close as we can as we install the, uh, the surge hitch. To start with, I'm gonna loosen the lock bolts in the front of the trailer. Lift up a little on the bottom of the coupler, pull the pin, drop the existing coupler out. Next step is going to take a little bit more work. I suggest getting your brother-in-law or friend to help you, and we're going to lift this into place. Once you've got it up into place, Toss pin back in, eye up your hitch, make sure it's straight in line with the trailer. Tighten the jam nuts back up, jam bolts. There's one, two, jam nuts. There we are. So one of the common questions we get is how much air do I run in my hitch? Well, that answer varies a little bit between the trailers that you're towing. If you've got a light trailer, let's say an aluminum horse trailer uh, with just a tack room, I might run as low as 15 pounds. Uh, then you're maybe hauling a gooseneck trailer with a flatbed with a skid steer. Well, that's gonna take a little more, maybe 20 pounds. Um, then let's say you're an industrial hauler and you're hauling up to 25,000 pounds on that trailer. You might go 25, 30, even 35. So my suggestion is play with the air a little bit. It'll tell you what it likes. When you hit the magic number, remember that number and use it again. A reminder, all of our products are made right here in the USA using U.S. components and U.S. labor. Join us at shockerhitch.com.